Hello, my executioner, Starmaster Executioner here, and we're going to be talking about a possible connection between Zeno and Vanitas. So let's start with Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. There's a particular scene where Sora is confronted by young Xehanort, to which young Xehanort says, Hypocrite, you're the one who's made your heart a prison. And then Vanitas appears all mysterious in that beside young Xehanort, where they both say, at the same time, in complete unison with each other, Even if you are not the prisoner. So, not only does this hint at the return of Vanitas, but there may be a bit of symbolism at work here. If that isn't enough for you, let's go all the way back to Birth by Sleep. It's a pretty small thing. When uh, Terra, Ventus and Aqua meet, with Xehanort in the Keyblade Graveyard. He's alone at first. He's just slowly walking towards them, like normal, and then suddenly, Vinitas mysteriously appears from behind him. Almost, like, not ghostly, but it's very, it's very mysterious. It, it might not seem much, it might just be like, oh, badass bad guys rolling in and here comes that bullshit what up, here comes that bullshit what up, here comes that bullshit what up. Yeah, I'm funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, it might well be uh, symbolizing something else, like the same thing that happened in Dream Drop Distance with young Xehanort and Vinitas. Still don't believe me? Okay, let's go even further back into Birth by Sleep. Let's go back to when... Ventus is split in two, being separated from his darkness by Xehanort, using his Keyblade. This obviously created Vinitas, fracturing uh, Ventus's heart, where he would be left in a state where he could hardly speak, and he would need Sora to link hearts with him to allow him to heal, like allow his heart to heal. So, considering when Vinitas was created, he was in the same state. All he could say was, yes, master. He was uh, he was very monotone. He seemed in pretty much the same state as Ventus. So would that not suggest that he would need the same treatment? He would need someone to link hearts with him to allow him to heal. This is where the whole link with Xehanort might come in. I think Vinitas's and uh, Xehanort's hearts are linked. Obviously, in the same way that Sora and Ventus' hearts are linked. Which could be why the return of Vanitas is teased in Dream Drop Distance, and he appears to be partially, partially still alive, residing in Xehanort. So, combined with the fact that young Xehanort sort of said about his heart being a prison, even if he's not the prisoner, and young Xehanort says this alongside Vanitas, I'm pretty sure that's concrete evidence to support that Vinitas and Xehanort's hearts are linked. So yeah, just thought I'd give you guys a quick theory. Thanks for watching anyway. This is your judge, jury, and executioner. Signing off.